Hey all y'all, it's Jocelyn here with the Queer Ass Trailer Trash Channel and today I'm going to be building some face frames on these lovely cabinets that I acquired for the low low price of $3.99 uh, and as you can see they're a bit haggard. Uh, they were, I don't know, in someone's garage, something, I don't know. But I've cleaned them up, sanded them up a bit uh, and I'm ready to put a little bit of trim on the edges just to make them look a little cleaner uh, stop all this plywood from shattering and breaking off making any more splintered edges uh, and I might put doors on them eventually but probably not that's hard so I will likely just put some curtains over top of them but this way they will look a little tidier you know and it's not too hard so for starters I took my table saw and I ripped a couple of strips off of a 1x4 uh, and then I'm going to, I already drilled my holes to use some finishing nails to get these in here and while I haven't done any of the rest of them down here I did the top hole, I got it lined up I know where it's going where and I pilot hold in here so then I'm going to put some glue down the outside strip here and along here and then I can set this and put my nail in and that will be perfectly set up so that I can then take my drill and pilot hole well, probably the bottom one and depending on how easy the nails are going in I might not pilot hole these three to just get a little more oomph then I also have a little air nailer that I might use if these aren't proving sufficient. But I like to start off like this, it's very precise and uh, that air nailer sometimes, especially when you're working with half inch plywood, like you can end up with nails shooting out all sorts of different directions, popping through the holes, or popping holes through your plywood. So with the little finishing nails and you just tip tap 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 and then get your nail set, which I have some around here. Oh. There it is. I wrap it up so that I don't lose it. Uh, I also use this to puncture irrigation line for running drip tape so it can easily just disappear in the grass of the field. So we just doo -doo. We'll, uh, we'll tap 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 them in once we get that going. So I am going to switch over to the old time lapse and you can watch me do that in super duper speed.
I am back in the kitchen and it's the uh, following day. After gluing up all the face frames, I have filled in all of the nail holes and the cracks and I have sanded it up and cleaned them, uh, cleaned them up. I still need to dust there quite covered in powdered uh, wood filler right now, but they'll get there. Um, I have this one here, gonna go over in that corner there, and this one will go next to it. And then we have this one here that I've been working on. Uh, I had to peel a whole bunch of terrible milk paint off of it. And there were some runners right in here that were for the sliding doors. There would have been two, and only one half would have opened at a time. But those never came with this cabinet, so there was one up here too. And uh, I just ripped a little strip of pine and filled those in so that when I'm using it as a cupboard, I'm not just getting this constantly filled with trash. It's gonna go up above the stove. I haven't quite decided if I wanna put this side up or down because if I flipped it upside down then that would be kind of a nice little edge on the bottom don't you think I don't know and then there was some legs on this because it used to freestand on the floor but I cut that off so it will be flush to the bottom here and then that can sit Either up against the roof or it'll be a flat surface on the bottom, depending. I'm gonna just fuck around with it, see what I like best. But as you can see, all of my pretty face frames, they hide all of these ugly edges of this cheap, thin plywood. But the price is right, you know. I think I used maybe three pieces of one by four, and that's gonna run you about oh I don't know 12 15 bucks 15 with the taxes and then these shelves can move a little bit so I can change where they're at if I don't want them exactly there but this just makes them look so much nicer and once I get a white coat of paint or two on here they're just gonna look like a million bucks you know and uh, that's not bad for not paying anything for these actual cabinets. They're generally fairly expensive. And, you know, that's where we're at now. And that's just an easy way to, you know, create some storage space for no money if you're in need. Uh, I'm gonna just have so much more room for things, and I am so excited after living in, you know, the world's littlest space. Each new cubic foot of room that I have is just cause for celebration. So, uh, till next time, be well, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and uh, keep it real.